What's up, Buttercups? Welcome to my channel where I share my experiences of my transformation journey into becoming the best and highest version of myself. relationship advice that can help determine how fulfilling your relationship is, as well as can help strengthen your bond with your partner and creating a more intimate dynamic. Stay tuned to find out. Every couple needs to grow something together, in my opinion, and I'll show you exactly why. Let's think a minute about what it means to grow something. According to the dictionary, to grow means to increase in size or substance. So let's think about growing a seed into a flower. It definitely increases in size when growing and so can your bond with your partner if you grow something together. Common interests are a great thing to have in a relationship. They aren't required, but they sure do help. <laughs> It doesn't really matter what those common interests actually are, but building and accomplishing something together really helps solidify the bond. If you think about growing a seed into a flower, what kind of things is that seed going to need in order to survive and to blossom out to be the most beautiful flower it can be? The first thing that comes to mind is soil. It's definitely gonna need some soil to grow in. Maybe some water, sunlight, some food. Also, you're probably gonna need a dose of patience because a flower definitely does not just bloom from a seed in one day. And you're probably gonna need some nurturing in your system because this seed's gonna need some help. And the same goes for a relationship. You will need love and patience, nurturing, assistance, emotions, intimacy, structure. I could go on and on. <laughs> now, the reason that common interests are so important is because imagine two couples, okay? And they're in a plant growing competition reality TV show. And on day one, we're introduced to the two couples at hand, okay? and they are trying to pick out a type of seed that they wanna grow for this competition. So couple number one, Jack and Jill, they both love petunias and they choose the seeds and it's simple as that. <laughs> then they begin to use their time and energy getting the supplies ready to grow the petunias that they have the seeds for. Now we have couple number two, they've entered the competition and they come in and they just start deciding on what seeds to grow. What kind of flower are they gonna pick to grow for this competition? Now, Donald, he just loves him some petunias, okay? And his wife, Daisy, well, she loves daisies, duh. <laughs> so Donald starts discussing why petunias are effortless and easy to grow and why they should definitely choose them as the flower for the competition. And then Daisy has to give her point of view and she totally disagrees with Donald, okay? She's naming all the reasons why daisies are such an amazing flower. I mean, she was named for them, obviously, right? <laughs> so Donald and Daisy are both stubborn. And I mean, honestly, that's what's kept them together, really, even though they do not share anything in common. They do share stubbornness and they never leave, okay? So do you see the difference between couple number one and couple number two? Can you see all the wasted energy that is going on between Donald and Daisy? You can choose any type of seed to grow as a couple. The point is you come together for its growth. There are a million different types of flowers out there and there are a million different types of shared interests out there. You know, my neighbors, um, they have a common interest in exercise and I actually see them out every afternoon running the block. And in fact, one time I was talking to my neighbor and he had to go because it was time to go running with his wife. They had a routine and they had a common interest in running. They actually set goals to see if they could go further and further each time. And then they actually set certain distances to reach by certain dates. 
and it really bonded them as a couple because they achieved it together. Then they would set a new one and a new one. And if one of them was down, the other one would pick the other one up. <laughs> Now, it doesn't have to be exercise. Maybe a common interest in your relationship is children. I feel like this is actually a big one. You both shared an interest in creating this child out of love and growing him or her together for the rest of your life. It's a joint venture that you did together. Now, there's a million of them. I've seen couples game together, do cosplay together, own a business together, have a YouTube together, work on cars together, uh, cook together, flip houses together. The list is endless. The point is that there is something in common that they both share a passion in talking about and doing something about. Okay, so let's go back to our reality TV game competition show, okay? <laughs> so the couple... Uh, they're going to decide on what they need to grow this uh, plant, okay? So couple one decides on a rich soil. They get this huge planter because they know their flower is going to thrive. They grab some good food. They grab a good hose for water. They gather up all their supplies and they start putting everything together to go plant the seed, okay? And our favorite couple, Donald and Daisy, they've reached a crossroads. On one hand, they've thought about each growing their own flower and dividing. And on the other hand, they thought about compromising, just growing one type of flower, okay? So <laughs> they're trying to decide, and at the end of an hour discussion, they decide that they're both gonna do their, e their own thing, okay? They're each gonna do their own thing. They felt like if they compromised, then it would build resentment in one of them. And they just didn't want that, okay? So they let each other do their own thing. They were separate. So Donald gets to do what makes Donald happy and Daisy gets to do what makes Daisy happy. So what's gonna happen at the end of this competition? Honestly, it does not take a brain heavyweight to figure out that Jack and Jill's plant is going to thrive and going to grow so big because they both are pouring energy into it. Now, Daisy and Donald, they're separated. And while yes, they both get to do what they like, they are not restricted by one another. They also both are doing these things alone. Now, all four contestants grew something. Two can Contestants did it together and two contestants did it separate. Daisy had to lean on herself to water, feed, and nurture the plant. And it only grew half the size of Jack and Jill's flower. And Donald had to lean on himself to grow his plant. And while, yeah, it did grow, he became disgruntled because all of the responsibilities fell on him. And it was also lonely for Donald and Daisy as they didn't have anybody to talk to while they were taking care of the flower. <laughs> there was no camaraderie. You weren't investing in each other or the object that you chose to grow. There was absolutely no sense of accomplishment for them completing something together as a team. <laughs> they couldn't see eye to eye on what to start growing together. And then so when this happens, so much wasted energy is spent on just finding the item that you want to grow as a couple instead of actually just growing it. Now, I only learned this lesson in life because I was in a relationship just like this. It was actually one of the absolute hardest relationships for me to leave. And it was so frustrating because we had a lot of the same personality traits, but not the same goals in life, not the same interests, not this, we, we didn't have anything in common besides our personality traits. For instance, we both never gave up on things. If we were in that plant TV competition, I would have never gave up on growing my daisy. And he would have never gave up on growing his petunia. But at the end of the day, we spent time alone growing two totally different things. I had my own business to grow and he had his. Neither one of us was wrong. It was just two totally different directions where we wanted to focus our energy. 
We were the same with our patience, our nurturing, determination, stubbornness, loyalty, our love, all of the things you need for a successful relationship. But we were totally opposite on our viewpoints of money, children, how to run a household, our hobbies, how to take care of our financial responsibility. Honestly, the list goes on and on and on and on. <laughs> When it came to setting a common goal, we could never agree on what was important to conquer, much less the steps to get there. We had two totally different priority lists. The whole relationship was like an uphill battle. Honestly, we could never accomplish anything together. And in order for things to get done, he had to go do his own thing and I had to go do my own thing because we never saw eye to eye. What he spent his money on and what his goals in life were did not match up to anything similar to what I had planned in my life. And over time, that just did not feel fulfilling to me. I felt alone 99% of the time and I often felt like a flower that grew in rocky soil. Yeah, I still bloomed and blossomed, but it was only because I pushed myself forward and I made myself grow despite the rocky circumstances. I would sit outside or I would sit and look outside, outside my window at the flowers beneath and I would see how they thrived in rich soil and amongst the flowers that they were next to. And I wanted that rich soil. <laughs> I wanted a partner that I could share what I do with and that understood my hobbies and my career and that supported me and that picked me up when I was down and that encouraged me. Those were all things that I desperately wanted. Then it dawned on me one day, I was making my own life hard by accepting and staying in a relationship where I had nothing in common with the present or the future person that this man was. I had accepted it, yeah. You know, I didn't, I didn't like try to avoid it. I accepted the reality, but yes, is that really what I wanted in life? To be the loneliest girlfriend on the planet? Because that's how I felt. There is just something about someone that can make you feel seen and heard and understand your values and sees why they are important to you and actually shares with you in some of those values. It doesn't make me right and him wrong, but rather we were just incompatible. <laughs> there was so much time and energy wasted in this dynamic. We both needed partners that had similar interests and goals so we could actually be on the same page and even share our day with our partner and our partner would resonate with us and could help us grow. I literally had no data in my brain for my partner's likes. Like when he was talking about his likes, it was almost a foreign language to me. I tried to listen. I tried to get involved. I tried to support him. But at the end of the day, his passions were not my passions. And I felt like I would waste my entire day chasing after what his passions were. I was putting my energy into something I didn't even want to grow. Because what if it did grow? Then I would be responsible for knowing more about something I didn't care about in the first place. <laughs> and I am absolutely sure that he felt the exact same way. You cannot fake interest. You may be able to in the beginning or at the start of a relationship because it's new, it's fresh, it's exciting, but time will tell if you are really interested at the object at hand, at the passion at hand, and if you can maintain the same level of interest. If you were like me, you can't. And when you can't, a whole host of problems starts creeping in because you are both left to completing things on your own. When you both signed up for a relationship in the first place, for connection. And when that connection is missing, there's just no fulfillment. You know what I mean? <laughs> so 
If you made it this far in the video, consider tapping the like button. It really helps the channel grow. And if you were encouraged by this, please consider sharing the video to someone who could use the message. I appreciate each and every one of you for listening and I make new videos for this channel every Friday and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Mwah.